How's it going everybody? It's Sean here and I'm super excited to give you guys my review of the Bricks and Wood collaboration with New Balance on the 5740 in the Forest Green colorway. This pair originally dropped on Bricks and Wood's website on May 28th, which is where I grabbed this from. And then there was a follow-up wider release on June 4th. So this pair retailed for 150 US dollars, but for some reason, Bricks and Wood's website allowed me to use a $20 off code, so I ended up grabbing these for $130 instead. The style code for this shoe is M5740BW, and the official colorway for this shoe is Forest Green and Aspen. So for those that don't know, Bricks and Wood is a South Central LA based boutique and brand, and this is their very first collaboration with New Balance on this 5740 model. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this box is exclusive for this release. As you can see, the colors of the box match the colors of the shoes. We have both the New Balance logo and Bricks and Wood done in New Balance's font, along with this paisley pattern found throughout. As for the shoes, the New Balance 5740, which is a relatively new silhouette which debuted earlier this year, it's basically a reinvention of the classic New Balance 574. So diving straight into the details, on the toe box, here we have this perforated nubuck. And surrounding the outer edges, we have three hits of reflective silver 3M. Overlaid on top of this, we have this deep green colored suede, which to the touch feels very soft and very buttery. And underneath this, we have another hit of this green colored nubuck. We have more of that hairy suede covering the eyelets of the shoe. And then beneath this, we have this oversized New Balance N logo, which is done in this off-white or cream colored suede. And then underneath this, it's backed by another layer of reflective silver 3M. Right next to the New Balance N logo, we have a combination of this very buttery tumbled leather, another hit of reflective silver peeping beneath this, and perforated suede at the very top. And then wrapping around the back heel, we have that fuzzy suede once again. And at the very top, this is covered in more of that reflective 3M material. Hugging the bottom of the back heel, we have this pale yellow colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the sneaker. For the laces, these come with these flat green colored laces, which incorporate reflective 3M within it. And you'll see that there's bricks and wood branding on the lace tips. In addition to these green laces, they also come with three extra lace options. So there's a plain green colored lace without 3M, a pair of flat cream laces, and the last pair is flat cream laces, this time with 3M in it. Underneath the laces, we have a full Nubuck tongue. We have New Balance branding along with bricks and wood branding embroidered in yellow. On the back side of the tongue, the tag here reads from South Central with love and 5740 branding. Taking out the insoles, these come with your standard foam insole. However, it's lined with this paisley graphic on the very top and we have bricks and wood branding on the heel. So the upper of these 5740s sits atop this very chunky EVA foam midsole. So your foot sits atop this sail or slightly off-white colored foam, which is the layer you see at the bottom, but we have this wavy foam pattern that runs up onto the sides of the shoe, and this is that vintage yellow and green combination that you see on the top. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole which is entirely constructed in this maroon or dark pink colored rubber. We have this chunky traction pattern running from heel to toe, along with the New Balance logo towards the back heel. So for those wondering how these fit, to me this pair definitely runs a little bit big. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I opted to go a half size down for a 9.5. And, and even by going a half size down, I still felt like there was a decent amount of space left over. So I would not recommend sticking true to size, you should definitely go a half size down. To give you guys a point of reference, I also go a half size down in models like the 992, the 993, the 998, the 990 V3, 4, and 5, and the 550. And on the other hand, I stick true to size in New Balance models like the 990 V2, the 997, the 1500, and the 1530. Next up in terms of comfort, so overall these are okay from a comfort standpoint. There's a decent amount of softness and plushness on this foam, but it's nothing really mind-blowing from a comfort standpoint. These are a little bit more on the heavier side as well, but they feel decent in terms of an everyday casual use sneaker, so I had no issues from that standpoint. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so this is actually a made in China pair. And you could have fooled me, honestly, I thought that the quality of the materials were great. The suede, the leathers, the new book, everything felt super premium and nice. And similarly, from a craftsmanship standpoint, I had zero issues with my pair. To me, this just seemed like a very well-built, well-put-together shoe. With all that being said now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
All in all, I love this collaboration. I think it has a very unique look. And in my opinion, it really went that extra mile to really stand out and be on its own. Bricks and Wood definitely didn't play it safe with this one, but somehow they just made this very funky green looking sneaker work. So overall, I'm just very happy I was able to grab these for retail, and I'm looking forward to any future collaborations the two of them will have. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Bricks and Wood New Balance 5740. What are your overall thoughts on the colorway, the silhouette, all that stuff? Let me know down below. And for those watching, were you able to cop these? Did you pass or did you take an L? If you guys enjoyed this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.